Welcome to Learning Lad. In this video, we will see how we can write a simple calculator program using the C programming language. Here, the calculator program that we're gonna write will support four operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division, and it will work on two numbers. First, we will ask the user to enter the operation that he wants to perform. If the user wants to perform addition, then he has to enter plus. If he wants to perform multiplication, then he has to enter the multiplication symbol. And then we will ask the user to enter the two numbers uh, to perform the operation that he has selected. And then we will perform that operation and we will uh, uh, display the result. So here I have uh, already written some code. I have included the stdio.h header file to our program so that we can use some built-in functions like printf and scanf. And then we have this main function, which is the entry point of our program from our perspective. So the first thing that we do here is we will declare the variables that we need. As I said before, first we will ask the user to enter the operator for the uh, operation that he wants to perform. So to store that operator that the user is gonna enter, we need a variable and I'm gonna take the character type and uh, i'm gonna call this variable as operator now here if the user wants to perform addition then he will enter the character plus so that's why we're using the character type in here and uh, after that we need a couple of variables for storing the numbers or the values entered by the user so i'm gonna take the double type this time and i'm gonna call them as first and second okay now here we have the variables that we needed and the next thing that we do is we will ask the user to enter the operator for the respected operation that he wants to perform so we're going to use the printf function in here and uh, the message that we're going to specify is enter the operator and then we will display the choices he has that is plus then minus then multiplication and then division okay now the user will enter the operator so we will read that using the scanf function and uh, we will store that in this operator variable so it will be ampersand operator okay now the next thing that we have to do is we have to ask the user to enter the two numbers on which he wants to perform the operation that he has selected so we will ask the user to enter the two numbers again i'm going to use the printf function in here and i'm going to specify the message as enter the two numbers one by one and the user will enter two numbers this time and we will read that using the scanf function and here uh, we have the variables of, of type double this double is a floating point type with double precision so the format specifier that we have to use is percentage lf this is for one value then i'm gonna insert a space in here and then i'm gonna again use the format specifier percentage lf because we are reading two numbers this time and we will store the values that we read from the user in this first and second variable now we know which operation the user wants to perform and also we know the values on which the user wants to perform the uh, respected operation so now what we do is if the user has entered uh, uh, plus for the addition operation then we will perform addition and we will display the result if the user has entered multiplication then we will perform that operation and we will display the result so what we do here is we will use the switch statement so it will be switch and the switch expression will be the value stored in this operator variable now here uh, what we can do is we can write the cases the first case that we write is for the addition operation you know you can write it for any operation but i'm gonna write it for the addition operation so i'm gonna write the case value as plus and 
if the user has selected the addition operation then what we want to do we want to add the values present in this first and second variable and then we will display that result so i'm going to use the printer function in here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to write the format string as percentage elf plus percentage elf equal to percentage elf so here we need to provide the values for these three placeholders it will be from the first variable and then from the second variable and then this third placeholder will get the result of first plus second now here what i'm doing is i'm calculating the result of first plus second and i'm directly using this in this printf function if you want then you can uh, uh, perform this operation you know perform this addition and store the result in a separate variable and then you can refer that uh, uh, variable which is containing the result okay and after that we will have the break statement so that will end this case now the next thing that we do here is we will uh, perform the same thing for the multiplication subtraction and division so i'm going to copy this case and uh, i'm going to paste it in here and this time i'm going to change this one to subtraction and here in this printf function also we're going to change this one to subtraction and here we will refer the result first minus second so that's it for the subtraction operation and similarly we will change this one for multiplication i'm going to paste it one more time this time we're going to change the case value to multiplication symbol and here in this printf function we will change the symbol to a multiplication and here we will perform first multiplied by second and we will uh, print that result here so now uh, we have written the cases for the plus minus and subtraction and now let's write the case for the uh, division operation you can get the source code of this tutorial in my website and uh, i'm going to put the link in the description box now we will write the case for the division operation case and the case value will be division operator when performing the division we have to we have to take a look at the value stored in the second variable because if the uh, second variable is containing zero then we can't divide any number by zero so we will check for that condition and we will uh, uh, we will display a message if the second variable is containing a value zero so here what we do is we will check if second is not containing zero not equal to zero in that case uh, what we do is we will uh, perform the division operation and we will display the result so i'm going to copy this printer function in here i'm going to paste it in here i'm going to change the symbol division and also here we will change this one to division now um if the second variable is not containing zero then we can perform the division operation and we can display the result if the second variable is containing zero we can have that in the else part then what we do is we will uh, display a simple message saying that divide by zero situation so i'm going to use the printer function in here and i'm going to say divide by zero situation after that we need to have the break statement now one thing you have to note in here is i'm writing this break statement outside this if else okay now we have the cases for addition subtraction multiplication and division let me um, add a new line and separate them so that you can see them easily okay addition subtraction multiplication and division and then we will write the default case this default case will work only if the user has entered an operator which is other than plus minus multiplication and division so in that case we will use the printf statement and we will say um invalid operator or we can you know display some other message now for the default case if we write it last or you know whatever the case that we write in the end you know we don't need to use the break statement so i'm going to get rid of that i mean if you write it then there is no issue but we don't need that okay now we have uh, written the program in here now what we do is we will uh, run this code and um, and we have an error and that is 
the implicit declaration of printf function. And that's because I have used capital P, it should be lowercase p. So let's I know make that correction, save the program and run code. And this time enter the operator, I'm gonna say addition, enter the two numbers one by one, I'm gonna enter 10. Now I can separate the second input by using a space or a new line. I'm gonna use a space, I'm gonna enter 20. It will display 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. Now here you can notice that it is using six spaces to print the value after the decimal place. What we can do is we can uh, you know reduce that one to two or one, whatever you know the number you wish. So to do that, uh, in this printf function, we can change the format specifier. That is, we can make it uh, percentage dot two lf. It will display the values after the decimal places in just two space. So here also percentage dot two lf. Here also, and we're gonna change for all these printf functions. So I'm gonna do that now. Okay, now I have done that. I'm gonna save the program, run it. And this time I'm gonna enter the subtraction enter the two numbers 10 and 20 it will display 10 minus 20 is equal to minus 10 now you guys can see after the decimal place it, it has used only two spaces to print the values and similarly we're gonna run it one more time and this time i'm gonna enter the multiplication i'm gonna enter the value like 10 and 30 it will display 10 multiplied by 30 is equal to 300 close that run it one more time I'm going to select the division operation. This time I'm going to enter 20 and 30. It will display value is 0 0.67. And after that, we're going to close it. We're going to run it one more time. And this time I'm going to enter 10. Okay, first we need to select the operator. It will be division. And the values that we select is 10 and 0. Now it says divide by 0 situation. Now we're gonna run it one more time. And now we will enter some other operator. Um, that is, let's say question mark. Now it says, uh, enter the two numbers, 10 and 20. It says invalid operator. So this is how you can write a simple calculator program using the C programming language. Now you can get the source code in my website. I'm gonna put the link in the description box. You guys can check that out. So this is it guys for this video. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like it, then hit the dislike button. And if you want to say something, then write that in the comment box. For more tutorials like this, do subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. I'll see you later in the next video.